our policy is to extend our sustainability principles to our supply chain, as well as to our contractors, employees, and procedures, producers, and, and services. We are in more than 40 countries, so uh, locally, transforming our supply chain is to work with 40 different cultures, really, or more than 40 different cultures. So in order to do this, we must, we must have a good understanding of, of what our supply chain is, is really. What is, how, how do we do this? First of all, we, from a sustainability standpoint, from the sustainability area standpoint, what we first care about is mapping our non-financial risks that pertain to our supply chain. Non-financial risks, is corruption issues, human rights, social impact, environmental impact, health and safety, the first one, and last but not least is climate change issues that has recently been introduced in this, in this assessment. The, the issue here for us to understand our, our uh, uh, supply chain and no financial risk is the, fir the first point is to train our own employees to understand this no financial risk. And this, so we have already started with this and what we try is that the non-financial risks are getting included into the managing of the whole risk map. Secondly, um, we are designing an audit plan for our sustainability, for our supply chain. We, we started in 2013 with this plan, uh, based in, in assessing our supply chains and in this, in this risk, in the ESG factors. Um, we have been increasing the number of of uh, uh, suppliers assessed by 12, 13% each year, so we go to a growing, to a growing number of, of um, suppliers and contractors and subcontractors analyzed. The most important issue we have done in this uh, is uh, last year, in 2014, we analyzed the greenhouse gas emissions of all our 28,000 suppliers, and we structured this this, uh, this this missions and we have a, we are designing our, our initiative to work with them in order to help them to reduce their emissions. Secondly, we analyze the water consumption of our supply chain to identify which proportion of water consumption in the supply chain is, is due to activities of direct suppliers that is uh, more closely related to us, and then. We compare which supply activities are intensive in water consumption in countries with a hybrid stress. This is also critical. And we identify which activities of Acciona have greater relevance in the global consumption calculation within the, within the supply chain. For that, we, from this, we get a, a, a good map of which suppliers are consuming water more intensively. We request some things, apart from studying our supply chain, we request some things from our supply chain. We request, we have them make all, all 28,000 uh, self-assessment questionnaire. We, they have their own their ethical principles uh, for suppliers. We have a, a whole book for that, uh, that is given to contractors and collaborators. They actually must accept uh, not necessarily join the Global Compact, the Regional Compact uh, Network, but they must accept and agree with the Global Compact principles. And um, actually the last thing we have done is, is we review our, all our ethical clauses to adapt them to a more strict international standard. And uh, regarding our, uh, how do we get this also to be more mandatory for suppliers, because you can speak of that with suppliers, but it is not in some way in, in standard in, in uh, mandatory issues. It's not very, very um, put in practice, in, put into practice. So we have uh, tried to put it into the procurement processes. And then uh, secondly, uh, we, apart from requiring issues from the supply chain, we support them. We support them how? We support them with communication and training. The main ones for finishing is uh, we have a supplier campus in our Acciona Corporate University, and there we have recently developed this uh, course with Global Compact and Universidad Complutense of Madrid. And um, the 
target is to train our supply chain in how to manage their own suppliers in terms of sustainability issues, more or less to tra transmit the chain of, of these values and these uh, initiatives to uh, the, the value chain. And we also give them a quarterly newsletter about health and safety issues. This is very well, well received. And I think if I must uh, summarize this, I think the last year, our last year initiative to uh, measure the emissions, the CO2 emissions of our 20 years of uh, Okay, well, thank you. It's very, very exhaustive. And I, I know that you're talking about water. It's like we didn't talk about it in Brazil, but Sao Paulo is having a, a drought, which is very important. And uh, so water is becoming a very big issue also in adaptation, etc. Okay, you did. You, 